Hey, Vinyl Community, welcome back. This is Hubtunes. I am Mike, uh, doing another episode of Three From One. Today's featured artist is going to be Squeeze, one of my favorite bands of the late 70s and early 80s. Um, they did linger on for a few years after that. Um, not so good. Uh, but I want to talk about kind of their first three albums. Uh, their, first of all, you guys, if you want to know more about Squeeze, check out this book by the incredible uh, James Griffiths. Um, you can check out his YouTube channel. If you guys don't know James, check out his YouTube channel. It's called James Griffiths. Uh, he does some really good stuff. He's a great guy. Uh, this I highly recommend this book. He wrote it a couple of years ago and um, well, maybe just last year. Um, but yeah, it, if there's anything you want to know about Squeeze, this is a really good read. It's very easy reading. It's light. It's, 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 filled with information too, uh, especially on the, there's more than just squeeze, more just kind of like the whole era of the late 70s British pop um, scene. So highly recommend this. Get it. Um, so we're going to just talk about their first uh, three records. I love their first three records. I am all in on squeeze when it comes to their first three records. Actually, I, I'll even go in their first five records. I, I like some of the ones after that, but that was not the name of this um, video. Uh, this is their debut, UK Squeeze. They went by UK Squeeze at the beginning. Uh, this is a fantastic record. This is a little edgier, a little punkier than um, most people would uh, think it is. Uh, they would get a little more. Their songwriting would definitely develop after this record uh, into more of a pop... Um, Honestly, it's just a pop, they would write pop masterpieces. They were the Lennon and McCartney of the early, of the late 70s and early 80s. I, I just absolutely love Squeeze. Um, I don't have my glasses. God damn it. <laughs> oh, God, getting old sucks, you guys. Um, well, you guys know that because I look at my analytics and everyone who watches this channel is old. <laughs> so uh, you guys get where I'm coming from as far as needing my glasses. Uh, but Bang Bang, Sex Master is uh, the the um, the opening track, which is great. Um, Out of Control, Take Me, I'm Yours was the big single. Um, the second side has The Call, Model, Remember What. Um, just a really solid, solid record debut for them. I don't know how big this album was for them. I mean, obviously, Take Me, I'm Yours was a pretty big single. But um, I don't I don't know that, you know, maybe there's somebody else out there that knows more about Squeeze than I do. I'm sure there is. Um, but this is just a really solid debut. And I like I said, it's a little punkier. It's a little edgier than some of their later stuff. And I really like that. Next up is my favorite Squeeze record. My favorite Squeeze record is Cool for Cats. This is my copy that I have had since, uh, God, probably 82 or 83. Uh, they are on A&M Records. This is Cool for Cats. The single Cool for Cats is wonderful. It's probably, it might be my favorite Squeeze song. I'm, I don't know. This also has Slap and Tickle to open it up. Uh, touching Me, Touching You is on here. It's So Dirty. Uh, up the Junction is another single. Uh, slightly Drunk, <laughs> it's a great song, and Goodbye Girl is on here, and of course the title track, Cool for Cats. So this thing is packed full of just singles, chart toppers, an absolute radio favorite. In 1979 this came out, Cool for Cats, love, love, love this record, I need a new copy. <laughs> I don't know if they've reissued a lot of these either. I, I, I really haven't seen any, but I'm not looking because these are all original. These are all original UK pressings. Um, I've had for ages and ages and ages. Uh, and next up, their 1980 record, Argy Bargy, uh, if that's how you want to pronounce it. Uh, this is another packed record. You know, not not as not as much as. Um, well, oh, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe I, I still I still like I still love Cool for Cats. I don't know why. It's just my favorite, absolute favorite. Uh, this has songs like "Pulling Muscles from a Shell," "Another Nail in My Heart," uh, "Misadventure" is great. "If I Didn't Love You" opens up the second side. Another great single. So you got three solid singles there. Um, three at the top closes it out. Vicky Verky. This is a really, really good record, too. Uh, you cannot go wrong with any one of these first three Squeeze records. 
from 1978, 79, and 1980. These would be the th only three records that Jules Holland played on. He was uh, one of the founding members of Squeeze, and after that, um, he after Argy Bargy, he would leave the band, go on his own, and then that's when uh, Paul Carrick came in, and um, I don't know. I, I, I like East Side Story, which I think I believe came right after Argy Bargy. Um, they kind of lost a little kick for me after uh, Jules Holland left. Those first three albums are absolute masterpieces. There are a few moments here and there throughout, you know, obviously Tempted is the biggest song of their careers, and that's Paul Carrick. Um, so there are a few moments here and there throughout the next decade that, um, they're you know, they're entertaining, but overall... These first three records, Stone Cold Classics. Uh, I got to see them several times. I saw them in the early 80s when they kind of had a comeback. Uh, I forget what the name of the album, but um, they kind of had a little bit of a comeback in like 82 or 83. And um, yeah, maybe a little later, might have even been 84. Uh, and I saw them live then. And then I've seen uh, Dilford and Tiltbook. Uh, I saw them live doing an acoustic show of... Uh, of squeeze songs which was really good it was much better than i thought it was gonna be um they were personable they were likable the songs are obviously incredible they carry the show so um yeah that is squeeze three from one questions comments snide remarks bye